Right from 1974. <laughs> I am before what you see today. I'm the younger version. I met Linda Wright at a party in which Cornell was in the back. He talked about that picture. <laughs> I told him to get some Kool-Aid, but he just kept standing there saying he wanted to be in the photo. <laughs> Thanks, Cornell, for, for coming to my wife's 60th birthday party. It wasn't for you. I wouldn't be here. <laughs> Drop the mic. Hello, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. people. <laughs> I'm glad that you were able to come out today for this special occasion for Linda. We need to represent. We need to represent. not only support the cause, we need to support Linda. Support the cause. You can't be eating the swine, man, young brother. I told you once before, my brother, that you seem to be devoid of enlightenment. Swine's okay, man. I think you had some religious training. If you were to read, you'd find out that it's all good, man. It's all good. It's not the swine that you need to be concerned about. It's these other factors in life that you have to concern yourself, man. So I would say, don't focus on the plate, man. You need to focus on what's here and what's going on in life. Reality, man. You're misdirected, man. You're misdirected. I'm gonna let it shine everywhere I go. I'm gonna let it shine. Uh, happy birthday, nephew. Since you didn't call me, I'm just letting you know I was waiting on that call this year. I'm gonna call you June 5th next year. I'm gonna call you. Know, you usually wait for me. Never got it. So I wait on to let that birthday. Next year, we're gonna work on it. I don't know if I'm gonna call you next year. It's kind of hard because when it comes to birthdays, I just keep it low key. So sometimes I'll be forgetting about my own birthday. Like, I, I was reminded this year that my birthday was that day at around like 3 o'clock. <laughs> Thank you everybody for coming today to celebrate uh, Linda's 60th birthday. It's a blessing. I wish y'all luck too. We're putting together a box of 60 memories of her friends and family. And it'll go great in her museum. So enjoy it. And of course Eric doesn't have his. <laughs> what do you mean? You got Rosalyn writing her memory to my mom. This is for Eric. Oh. oh okay. I Oh, you're writing for Eric? I'm writing for Eric. Oh, we, wait, we got Eric still having people doing his homework? Yes. <laughs> Some elbow room. Take me down the street real quick. I, I gotta pick something up at the corner. Store. Yeah, let's go. That's right. No questions. <laughs> Why not? That's right. <laughs> you don't wanna know. This guy. Who's that? Who's that? Who's your mama? <laughs> how you doing? I will. How are you? <laughs> Look at that. So what do we buy? Yeah, it's got little babies in it. What's that? Next Who's saying we bought something? What do we buy? We buy anything. This is something. We ride around the neighborhood. Well, but also food. Yeah, no, we have a bottle open. It's in the top drawer. Let me get some. The values are what I think they should be. Why would I want to go to Mississippi where they mistreat my people so much and we live in so much poverty because the laws and the system there just kept us down, down, down. I don't want to be treated that way. Plus, I don't want to see my people being treated that way. Hey, from 1974, Eddie Wright. This is my future baby mamas. This is my future kids. I'm going to stay with my kids. Forever and ever, I'm never gonna leave my wife because I love her. You see the jacket, it's all nice. 
the suede. John F. Kennedy, 1974, you know how we do. Got the dashiki under. It's tucked in, cause you know, I gotta be a stand-up brother for all the future youngers out there that I produce. Hey, y'all clean up your rooms or something. Do something. Here he's this mulatto boy. Here he is. He's nice and strong. Look at his teeth. Boy, it's hot out here. Dollars, spending fifty dollars, four hundred dollars. Okay, sold to the man in the red hat. I was born on a river in a little tent. With well, their maids, they're working out. They're working out share properties. Oh, and just like the river, I've been running. Ever since. Oh, sorry, sorry. Didn't Bastard. I tell you to Bastard. tell these niggas to stop singing that damn song. song? Okay, I'm gonna get back to work. What are you today, Cash? Whatever you want me to be, baby. Aren't you supposed to be a historical figure? Sure. We're gonna call you Harriet Tugman. Oh, so now it's a question of authenticity, huh? No, it's a question of authenticity, my brother. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we were all right, man. The man. I feel threatened. You're like really into it. You shouldn't feel threatened. That's how authentic you are. I got love for you, man. Don't you feel the love? I do. You feel the love? Where can I join up? I feel the love. Are you guys taking any kind of lighter shape? Hey, man. It's not like that, man. You got a position. Okay. You know what your role is. Just handle your role. What is my role? What your role is, man? You know my role is? I'm getting this. Let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go. Asalam Alinka. Oh, 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 oh no! Oh no! My son right here, Emmanuel, my daughter Karis. Age of enlightenment. You know, my family all around me. I just wrote about the age of enlightenment, which was the critical thinking moment of Emmanuel Wright. Linda smile, mm -hmm. yeah. and that's what got me too. You know, yeah. That's the first thing I noticed uh, at the event uh, that we went to was Linda's smile. And uh, believe it or not, <clears throat> I'm in front of you guys now, but I was kind of a, a, a humble guy at that time. I, I didn't, I didn't even ask for a phone number. The person that threw the party, I went through that person to get the number. So I was a little, you know, well, how do you want to call that? Just, just read it from the door. <laughs> Got the number, made the call. Mm -hmm. At the first day, uh, over at Cal, and there was a place called the Bears Lair uh, there, and uh, that was the first date. And then it went back to doing missionary work. And uh, as time goes on, uh, there's more to the story. I will tell you this, and this is actually a true story. One week before I went to this event, I wrote down four things on a piece of paper, and at that time, my relationship with God was not. Where I wanted it to be, so I wanted to change that dynamic in my life. That was number one. There's a guy named Roy Ayers, who's a great jazz musician. He had a song called I'm Searching. And if any, how many people know about Roy Ayers? Okay. All right. We got some Roy Ayers fans in the house. There's a line in that song that says, uh, I'm searching for one who feels the need the same as I. I'm searching. So that's what I wrote down on my paper. I'm looking for somebody feels the need the same as I. Number three, uh, I had some money problems, so I want to get out of debt. <laughs> so that was the third prayer. And then the fourth uh, deal was uh, I had a friend who was trying to market an educational game that I wanted him to be successful. And I prayed about that a week before I went to this event. And Carnell, it's the truth. If he had not agreed to go with me, I would not have gone there. But he surprised me. It was a curveball. He said, yes, we went. Smile was there, and the rest is history. <laughs> That's mom. <laughs> and the glasses. Do you have a message, young Karis, from Wakanda? Uh, uh -oh. You know, this chicken. Nourish your body. Is this chicken or tofu? You can't do nothing if you don't it's have nourishment. Chicken. Yeah, she loves me like a rock. My brother, no cameras here. No cameras, man. I think you might be part of Cohen Jail, bro, man. It's a movement, man. You know, peace, man. 640. 50, yeah. 
happened? What happened? These are friends from high school. We are, we are, we are like what? High school friends. That's right. Yeah, that's my son. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, Actually, that's my husband. Your mama high school friend. Today, I'm 1974 Eddie Wright. Oh. Yeah. 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 On August 7th, as Linda stated, the A's are going to be the first ever African American Heritage Night. He's encroaching on conversation. Well, what he's doing, documenting history. He's documenting history. He's documenting history. He's documenting history. He's documenting history. And I'm just suspicious of brothers, this is brothers walking around with cameras. I'm storytelling in this room now. And, and when I think about Linda, and this is about you, Linda, I enjoy you so much. Are we done with the photos? I just need a video. Oh, nice like okay. an art gallery. Mm -hmm. and, um, oh, we didn't do one in uh, front of the... Just, we're done? We the other side. The, on the that steps. had a gallery in LA. On the steps? Yes. Or oh, the night of the museum is what you're Why are you so nervous? Happy birthday! I am Linda Wright and I represent all the years of Sunday School teaching that she's done at New York. I love you, Linda. This is a genuine museum piece. Okay. I bought this uh, off the back of an Indian lady in Guatemala in 1962. Lava Lava made in Yap. Yeah by the women there. Usually they go bare breasted, so this is not authentic. Hey Lucille, bring me some lemonade. Oh, I, I'm sorry, master. So, very blue. He's gonna touch the snow. Yeah. He's sitting out there in the rain. Yeah.